First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bud Shem, Yahweh Shah, Rikaki Dash. Double honor to the elders of GMS, who I learned this truth from. I would like to give a salutation to all the Akim out there that's preaching this word in righteous and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Also a Shalom to the Israelite foreigners out there, the speckled bird who are going to come looking like other nations, but who are Israelites. Shalom, man. I'm going to get right into it, man. Right now, we are entering into Jacob's trouble, man. Esau is about to come down with great wrath. He's pushing his new world order agenda, okay? He still want people to take the Vanessa. And if you don't take the Vanessa, there's all type of consequences going on, man, okay? So prepare yourself to be confined, man, okay? Because there's a lot of restrictions that's going to happen upon people of society if they don't go along to get along with this New World Order agenda, man, okay? And as you see, you see the Karagma is on the scene being pushed, man, okay? You see, you hear the rumors of wars out here, okay? Because one thing about Esau, man, these Rothschilds and Rockefellers, man, these elites, they are going to push the people into a breaking point, man, so then they can come in with the order of KO, man, okay? All right? Bring forth the order out of chaos, man. This is, has always been their recipe, and this has always been their agenda, man. Because at the end of the day, they want everybody to get the karagma, man. Okay? All roads lead to the MOTB, man. There's no way around it, man. Okay? And with that being said, man, let's take it to the scriptures, man. Okay? And, and today's lesson is going to be about, man, eternal life. And rest, man. Because that's what we need, man. We need eternal life and rest, man. Okay? So let's take it to the scriptures, man. All right? Let's get Psalms 139, verses 23 and 24. All right? This is Psalms 139, verses 23 and 24. Search me, O God, Yahweh. And know if my heart try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way of everlasting, man. That's right, man. Everlasting life, man. Okay? Because we ain't living here, man. We are not living, man. We are just existing, man. You know, I don't know what it's like to live, man. Because in order for you to live, man, you ain't paying no taxes and you have slaves, man. You don't have to worry about getting up to go to work in the morning when you're truly living, man. Okay? We still in bondage over here, man. So we're just existing, man. Okay? Let's continue on, man. All right? Let's go to the book of Daniel. This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 25 to 27. All right? This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 25 to 27, man. Because once again, man, we need everlasting life, man, and rest, man. Okay? With an everlasting kingdom as well. This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 25 to 27. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Who is that talking about? Esau, man. All right? And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. We're worn out here, man. We are worn out, man, okay? Being under bondage, under this Edomite, man, this tyrant, okay? Let's start it from the top, man. And he shall speak great words against the Most High Esau and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. We're worn out, man. We're beat down here, man, okay? And think to change times and laws, and they should be given into his hands until a time times and divide another time. Because once again, man, Esau has a period of rulership. But he's not going over that period, man. Okay? And his his period is getting ready to come to an abrupt end, man. All right? But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion. Who shall take away his dominion? Yahweh Shah and the angels, man. To consume and to destroy it until the end. 
and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints. Who is that? You so-called Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, Indians, similar Indians, man, and you Israelite foreigners, man, but uh, this time it's going to only go to the elect starting off. Then the rest of y'all going to come back in the kingdom, okay? All right? Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Okay? There you have it, man. All right? Yahweh Shah kingdom and our kingdom, you dig what I'm saying? Through default, all right? It's going to be an everlasting kingdom, man. Everybody can be worshiping Yahweh above Shem Yahweh Shah, man. You know, like here in this so called kingdom, you can have all different types of worship. It ain't going to be like that in our kingdom, man. It's all about Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? All the other nations are going to learn the way of the Israelites, man. That's it, man. And pay tribute unto us. Okay? All right? Let's continue on, man, because we ain't living here, man. This ain't living. Let's go to the book of Matthew, man. This is Matthew chapter 7, <clears throat> verse 13 and 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Once again, man, this is a narrow path, man. This path is so narrow, only one man can go at a time, man. Okay, for salvation, man. Okay. Let's continue on, though, man. All right. That lead them to destruction, and many there be which go in threat, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which lead it unto life, and few there be that find it, man. That's right, man. Few that can find it, man. Because once again, man, this is all the will of Yahweh Bud Shim Yahweh Shah, man. If you understand this truth, man, Yahweh Bud Shim Yahweh Shah gave it to you, man. It's nothing of your own, man. This is all the will of Yahweh Bud Shim Yahweh Shah, man. All right? Let's continue on, man. All right? But this is only for the elect, man. Only the elect is going to receive it. Let's continue staying in the book of Matthew. This is Matthew 25 and 46, man. Because great misery and great sorrows getting ready to hit the earth, man. It's getting ready to be a time out here like never before, man. Out here, man. It's getting ready to be that bad out here, man. Okay? This is Matthew chapter 25, verse 46. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment. Okay? Esau, the other heathens, Okay? But the righteous into eternal life. Okay? Let's read that again, man. Matthew 25 and 46, man. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. We're going to have life eternal, man. Okay? Eternal. We're going to live forever, man. Our body's going to be changed, man. We're going to have no more infirmities. Okay? We're going to have no more aches and pains, man. All right? That's, that's what you call really living, man, and being able to enjoy your life. You can't enjoy your life here, man. If you have children, you got to go to work, all right? Then after you get off from work, you try to, you know, do their homework, all right? Monitor while they're doing their homework. Fix fix our uh, dinner. Before you know, it's time to go back to bed and repeat the same performance, man. You can't, you can't enjoy your children here. In the kingdom, we're going to be able to enjoy our children, man. We're going to be able to enjoy our life, man. We're going to be able to enjoy our spouses, man. Okay? Because we're going to have what? Life eternal, man. Okay? Here, you can't enjoy that, man. All right? Because here, you're nothing but more than a slave, man. Get up. Okay? Punch the alarm clock and repeat the same cycle over and over, man. All right? Let's continue on, man. All right? Let's go to the book of John. This is John chapter 3, verse 36, man. All right? This is John chapter 3, verse 36. He that believeth on the Son have everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of Yahweh abided on him, man. There you have it, man. In order for you to have everlasting life, man, the first step, man, you must believe on your Shah, man. Okay? 
because Yahweh Shah and his father Yahweh, all right, they are one, meaning they are in agreement with one another. Two separate beings, okay, but in agreement with one another, right? Simple as that, man. Let's continue on, man. All right. Let's go to the book of John, man. Matter of fact, let's stay in the book of John, Salakia. This is John chapter 6, verse 50 to 58, man. Okay. John chapter 6, verse 50 to 58. This is the bread which come down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. What, what type of bread is that talking about? Is that talking about a regular piece of loaf bread? Absolutely not, man. It's talking about these scriptures, man. The doctrine of Yahweh should be Yahweh shot. I am the living bread which come down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of this world. Okay? And what world is that talking about, man? Is that talking about the whole world? No, Israelites only, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, similar Indians, man. You are the children of Israel, man. Contrary to popular belief, man. All right? Let's continue on, though, man. The Jews, therefore, strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Yahweh said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye shall have no life in you. Whosoever eat of my flesh and drink of my blood have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last days, man. And we're here in the last days, man. We're here, man. We are here, man. Let's continue on, though, man. For my flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. He that eat of my flesh and drink of my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eat of me, even he shall live by me. Once again, showing you the Father and the Son are not the same people, okay? This is the bread which come down from heaven, not as your father did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever, man. Talking about this doctrine, man. Okay? Eat the whole book, man. Okay? These scriptures, man. All right? This is the bread that you eat and you'll live forever, man. Because <clears throat> this is life, man. Anything outside of this right here is death, man. All right? But let's continue on nevertheless, man. This is uh, still in John. This is John chapter 10. Verse 28 and 30. Okay. John chapter 10, verse 28 and 30. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all. Did you hear that? <laughs> and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my father are one. There you have it, man. What they mean by that once again? The same for as in thought, man. You think what I'm saying? Same in belief. Okay? Just like the hopeful elect are one with your house shot. Okay? Same thing, man. All right? Like I said, the father and the son are two totally different beings, man. Okay? Let's continue on, though, man. Because so once again, man, the elect shall not be plucked out of the hands of Yahweh, man, or Yahweh shot, man, okay? Shall not be plucked out of his hands, man, okay? So they're going to inherit what? Life eternal, eternal life, man, okay? Let's continue on, man. This is John chapter 17, verses 1 to 3, all right? John chapter 17, verses 1 to 3. And these words smoke Yahweh Shah and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Let's read that part again. 
as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee that the only true God, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shah, whom thou hast sent. Man, there you have it, man. There's no way around this, man. You must go through Yahweh, Bullshit, Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, plain and simple, man. All right? Plain and simple. Let's continue on, man. All right? This is Romans chapter 6, verse 23, man. Okay? Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirits, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to with the redemption of our bodies, man. Hey, man, we ready to get up out of here, man. And you know what, man? Salaki, that's the wrong one. Salaki. Salaki, Salaki. This is Romans chapter 6, verse 23, Salakia. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shah, our Lord, man. Hey, man, we need eternal life, man. We need eternal rest, man. Okay, man, listen, man. We ain't living here, man. Because I'm going to tell you something, man. There's about to be a time like never before, man. It's about to be straight anarchy out here. It's about to be martial law out here. It's about to be a purge out here, man. Do you think they make these purge movies just to be making them? Nah, man. This is what's coming down the pipe, man. And you got to prepare yourself spiritually, man. Okay? And trust in your how was man. All right? Let's continue on, man. This is 2 Corinthians. Chapter 4, verse 17 to 18. Okay. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 and 18. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And that's what we're hoping for, man. Okay, through your how bush and your house shot, man. See, we don't we don't we don't hold no weight in the things that are seen, man. We hold weight in the things that are not seen. Okay? And that's the power and the glory of your house shot and the chariots, man. Okay? All right. Because he's coming to save us, man. The hopeful elect, that is, okay? Because two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Indian, Indians, man, you got to go, man. All right? But let's continue on, nevertheless. All right? This is 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 12. All right? 1 Timothy, Chapter 6, verse 12, man. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay on hold eternal life, man. This is what this is all about, man. Eternal life, man. We need eternal life, man. Okay? Whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. There you have it, man. Fight the good fight, man. Fight it to the end, man. Because some of us are going to be martyrs. For Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah, man. Nevertheless, man, if death your lot, man, fight the good fight until the end, man. All right? Because this ain't living, man. This ain't living, man. Our life hang in doubt from day to day, man. You know, everything is uncertain, man. But one thing is certain, man, is Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah, man. Don't love this world, man. Because the things of this world are going to fade away, man. It's all temporary, man. All right? But let's continue on, nevertheless, man. Let's continue on. Now, this is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6. Go remain there in verse 17 and 19. So, this is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17 and 19. 
charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living of Yahweh, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to commute, land up and store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come. What time is it to come? Jacob's trouble, man. Okay. So right now, man, we're laying up, man. We're laying up goods, man. Hoping Yahweh will shine out and have mercy on us, man. Okay. Us going out here preaching, doing these lessons. We're laying up goods in heaven, man. We're putting, we're putting, uh, just like you got a bank account and you put money in your bank account. So we have a spiritual bank account and we're putting money in, man. Okay. For that day, for that great terrible day of the Lord that's coming. Okay. Land up and store themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. There you have it, man. Eternal life, man. Eternal life and eternal rest, man. We need it, man. Let's go to First Peter's, man. This is First Peter's chapter five, verse ten, man. Okay. But through all this, man, in order for us to get eternal life. And eternal rest, we must suffer, man. This is all a package deal. You can't have one without the other. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. But the God of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Shah, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish strength, and sell you, man, because you suffering, man, Supposed to bring out the best in you, man. It's supposed to get all the impurities up out of you, man. You can't have one without the other, man. One thing about life, man, everything, I mean everything, have a dual side to it, man. All right? You can't have good without evil, man. You can't have sun without what? Without darkness, man. <laughs> they both coincide with one another, man. You can't have one without the other, man. All right? Well, let's continue on nevertheless, man. All right? But we're in that time, man. We're in a terrible time, man. Because listen, man. Do you think, really think, that Esau is going to let up or push his new world order, man? Do you honestly think he's going to let up? Be like, you know what? I'm right here at the door. I'm just going to let up. No, man. Hell no. This man is about to come down like a madman. The world is going to finally see who the wicked is, man. Because all of the world don't believe this man is the devil, man. But he's getting ready to show you, man. And he's going to show you through his policies, man. He's going to show you, man. Okay? With his unrighteous decrees, man. All right? Because things, things are going to continue and continue with more total totalitarian laws, man, being passed, man. More Dragonian laws being passed, man. I don't know if those of you are familiar with... With the movie 1984, I suggest you check that out, man. 1984, man. Okay? Check that out, man. All right? It tells you everything you need to know, man. It gives you a glimpse of what's getting ready to happen here all throughout the world, but especially here in domestic America, man. It's getting ready to go down, man. Okay? But nevertheless, let's continue on, though, man. Let's continue on, man. All right? This is uh, 1 John, chapter 5, verse 10 and 13, man. All right. This is 1 John, chapter 5, verse 10 to 13. He that believeth on the Son of God, Yahweh, have the witness in himself. He that believeth not, Yahweh, have made him a liar. Because he believes not the record that Yahweh gave his son. And this is the record that Yahweh have given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. He that have the son have life. And he that have not the son of Yahweh have not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the son of God. Yahweh was Shem Yahweh Shah that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God, man, which is what? Yahweh Shah, man. And the Father's name is Yahweh, man. These are the names for salvation, man. 
Okay? But nevertheless, man, people are getting ready to get the shock of their life, man. And this is coming fast, man. Jake is going to be caught so off guard, man. You're going to hear screaming, hollering, and crying like you never heard before, man. Okay? Because, hey, man, when these FEMA troops, when these UN soldiers flood the streets of America, all right? <laughs> hey, man, it's not going to be a pretty sight, man. And they ain't doing no talking, man. And they're not speaking in English neither. That's not their native tongue. Because these are foreign soldiers being brought over here to domestic America, man. How do you think this is going to play out, man? <laughs> you shall see, man. But nevertheless, man, let's continue on, man. All right? Let's go to Revelations, man. This is Revelations chapter 21, verse 4. All right? Revelation chapter 21, verse 4. Because all we got, man, is Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, man. We ain't got nothing else in this world, man. That's all we got, man. Okay? And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away, man. And that's all I look for, man. That's all I look for, man, because this ain't living, man. This is not living, man. Everything is uncertain here, man. And things are only going to get worse, man. Things are not going to get better, man. Contrary to popular belief, man. Okay? But nevertheless, man, let's continue on, though, man. Okay? All right? Let's continue on. Let's get Hebrews, man. All right? Let's get Hebrews. This is Hebrews chapter 4. Verses 1 to 3, man. We need that rest, man. We need that rest, man. Okay? We need that rest, man. Okay? The saints are wore out, man. This is Hebrews chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. Let us therefore fear, lest they promise being left us of entering into the rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. For to us was the gospel preached as well to them, but the world preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath. If they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished, from the foundations of the world. There you have it, man. Because everything that's transpired throughout life, man, has been ordained from the beginning, man. Okay? It has all been preordained, man. There's no such thing as free will, man. This is the movie of your Howard Bush Yahweh Shop, man. And with that being said, I want to read something directly behind that. This is Isaiah 46 and 10. Okay? Just to piggyback on that point, man. On the foundations of the world, man. This has already been in play, man. Okay? We're nothing more than puppets of Yahweh, which you have shot, man. Okay? This is Isaiah 46 and 10, man. Declaring the end from the beginning. That's, let, me, let me read that again. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times... The things that are not done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. This is the Lord talking, man. Okay? So everything has already been sealed, man, declaring the end from the beginning. There you have it, man. Salak, your family. You know, there's no getting around that, man. All right? But let's get back to it, though, man. Let's go back to Hebrews, man, chapter 4. Let's go back to that. Got a couple more I want to read in that chapter. All right?
But hey, man, we're here, man. Make no mistake about it, man. We are at the end, man. This is it, man. And things down here are only going down here from here on out, man. Okay? Because if you don't have your how but shimmy out shot with you, man, you're done with these times, man. You are absolutely done, man. You know, make no mistake about it, man. You are done out here, man. This is Hebrews chapter 4. Okay? Hebrews chapter 4. And I'm going to start at verse... I'm going to start at verse 6, man. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, they to whom it was first preached, and are not because of unbelief. Okay? So like, let me read that again. Sin, therefore, it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached, enter not in because of their unbelief. Okay? So not because of their unbelief. You know? It's all the time and the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? Again, he limits a certain day saying in David today after so long a time as it is said today if ye will hear his words harden not your hearts for if your house shall have given them rest then he would not afterwards have spoken of another day that's right man the day of salvation man okay there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of Yahweh for he that is entered into his rest, he also have seed from his own works, as Yahweh did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into the slot. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Least any man fall after the same example of unbelief, man. There you have it, man. Okay? Because, hey, man, but that, that, that uh, belief is a gift, man. Okay? Belief is a gift, man. Belief is a gift that's given to you, man, by Yahweh Shemiah Shah, man, okay? That's nothing that you just develop over time, no. That's a gift that is given to you, and it's only given to the elect, man. That's why the elect believe, the remnant, that's why they believe, man, because that gift of faith has been given unto them, man, okay? Let's continue on, though, nevertheless. Let's continue on. This is Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16, man. All right. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. All right. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and act for the old path where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls. That's what we're seeking for, man. Rest for our souls, man. This ain't living, man. Okay? But they said we will not walk therein. And that's two-thirds of our people, man. Two-thirds are not don't, do not want to walk in the paths of your house when you shot. They want to do their own thing. And really, they don't understand Yahweh Bashir Al Shah don't want you. It's not that you're doing your own thing. He has programmed you to what? To go and be wicked. Okay? But nevertheless, man, <clears throat> that's what it is. Let's continue on, though, man. All right? Let's continue on. Let's go to the book of Matthew. This is Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. All right? Matthew chapter 11. Verse 28 to 30. Come unto me, all ye that are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hey, man, we need that, man. We need that, man. We're struggling here, man. Hey, man, we're tired, man. We're worn out, man. Okay? This ain't living, man. This is not living, man. Okay? But let's continue on nevertheless, man. All right? We need your high with Shimmy Abba Shah, man. There's no way around it, man. Let's go to the book of Psalms. This is Psalms chapter 62, verse 1. Okay? Let's 
So lock your family. This is Psalms chapter 62. Verse 1 and 2. Truly my soul waiteth upon Yahweh. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. There you have it, man. Waiting on your house for three hours shot, man. He's our salvation, man. Okay? That's all we have, man. Without him, man, we're done, man. Okay? But nevertheless, man, let's continue on, man. All right? Let's go to Ephesians, man. Now, how do we find this rest that we're looking for that we're talking about, man? What are some of the principal things we must do to attain everlasting life and everlasting rest, man? Well, let's get that, man. Well, let's get that. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22 to 24, man, because this ain't living, man. We need rest, man. All right? Tired, man. Truly, I am. I am truly tired, man. I'm speaking for myself, man. Okay? This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22 to 24, man. That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. You got to put away that old man. You got to change your ways, man. Okay? Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. And he renewed in the spirit of your mind. You got to renew your mind, man. That ye put on the new man, which after Yahweh created in righteousness and in true holiness, man. So, hey, man, you got to put away that old man. That old man. This is how you. This is how you obtain everlasting life and everlasting salvation, man. You got to put away that old man. Okay. All right. Let's go to First John, man. Love not this world, man. Because, hey, man, if you love this world, the love of the Father is not in you, man. All right? This is uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 to 17, man. Everything about this world is polluted, man. I mean, everything is polluted. This is uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 to 17. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him, man. Okay? For all that is in the world, the, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh abide forever, man. And that's the key, man. You do the will of the Lord, you're going to buy forever, man. You're going to have everlasting life, and you're going to have everlasting rest, man. Okay? Everlasting, man. You're going to get that eternal rest. You're going to get that eternal life, man. Okay? Let's continue on, man. Okay? Let's go to Isaiah, man. This is Isaiah chapter 32. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 17 to 18, man. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 17 to 18. And the work of righteousness shall be peace. And the effort, now so lot, started from the top. And the work of righteousness shall be peace. And the effect of righteousness, quietness and assurance forever. And my people shall dwell in peaceable habitation. And in sure dwellings and in quiet resting places, man. This is what is here for us, man. Okay? This is what is here for us, man. We don't have to worry about looking over our shoulders, being shot down in the streets no more, man. Okay? We don't have to worry about that, though, man. We don't have to worry about, you know, watching over our children, man. You know, our children get kidnapped. You know what I'm saying? All right? We're going to have everlasting rest, man, in a righteous kingdom, man. Okay? It's going to be all good here, man. Okay? Once we get in the kingdom, not here, but once we inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? Let's go to the uh, book of Jude, man. This is Jude 
this is Jude chapter 1, verse 6, man. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he have reserved an everlasting chain on the darkness until, until the judgment of the great day. And that's talking about us, man, the whole elect, man. We are the angels that changed their first estate, man. Okay, when he chains the darkness. What are the chains of darkness? These raggedy bodies, man, that break down, that age, that ache, that have infirmities. Let's start it from the top. Jude 1 and 6, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had reserved an everlasting chain on the darkness until the judgment of the great day. There you have it, man. Gives no better than that right there, man. Okay? And that's us, man. So lock your family. Let's continue on, man. Let's continue on. Let's go to Psalms, man. This is Psalms chapter 23, verse 1 and 2. Psalms chapter 23, verse 1 and 2. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down into green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters, man. That's what your house, your house, your house got for us, man. Okay? Let's continue on the book of Psalms. This is Psalm chapter 37, verse 7. Okay? Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prosper in his way, because of the man who wrangles wickedness devices to pass. And that's talking about Esau, man. Wait, man. Okay? Wait upon your house and see how it's shot, man. He's going to give you everything you need and then some. Let's read that from the top, man. Psalm 37 and 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way, because of the man who brings the wicked devices to pass, man. Oh, that's going to fade away, man. That's only temporary. Okay? Temporary. All right. Let's continue on. Let's get. Uh, let's stay in the book of Psalms. This is Psalms chapter ninety-one, verse one and two. Psalms ninety-one, one and two. Man, we need that rest, man. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God, Yahweh, in him will I trust, man. There you have it, man. Okay. Let's get first Kings, man. This is uh This is First Kings chapter five. Verse 4, but now the Lord my God hath given me rest on every side, so that there is neither adversity, adversary nor evil occupant. Let's read it again from the top. But now the Lord my God hath given me rest on every side, so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrence. There you have it, man. Okay? And this is what the Lord is getting ready to do. For us elect, man, okay? Because we're going to be the first fruits, man, to inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. We ain't going to have no more adversaries, man. Yahweh, but Shimei Yahweh shot, man, is going to put them in slavery, okay? Yeah, that's what's coming, man, okay? That's what's coming, okay? We're not going to be slaves forever, man. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, man. This is Isaiah chapter 49. 
Isaiah chapter 49. Verse 25 and 26. This is what the Lord going to do for our enemies, man. Those that oppress us, man. This is how he's going to give us this rest, man. This is Isaiah 49, 25, and 26. But thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with thee, and I will save thy children. Yeah, man, that's how your high bush you try to do, man. He gonna save us, man. They ain't gonna need to fear, man. Okay? Cause those you put us in slavery, man, your high bush you try to put them in slavery, man. And the elect, man, he gonna let us partake of that, man. Alright? Even though we're in Jacob's trouble, even though we're in the if we in the dreadful day of the Lord, man. Hey, man, have no fear, man. Fear nothing. And I mean absolutely nothing. Okay? And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. Yeah, man. That's what the Lord gonna do for us, man. All right? And they shall be drunken with their... Oh, go ahead, brother. Starting to give, man, and I will feed them their own flock, and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine, and all flesh shall know that I am the Lord, and thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. There you have it, man. There you have it, man. For you Negroes, Latinos, they American Indians, and similar Indians, man. All right? That's the message unto you, man. All right? Unto you, man. Because the Lord got us, man. The Lord's getting ready to deliver us, man. Let's go to Deuteronomy, man. Because wherever he scatter us, he's getting ready to uh, come uh, deliver us, man. And give us that what? That eternal what? That eternal life and that eternal rest, man. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30. Verse 3, man. All right. Deuteronomy, Salaki, chapter 30, verse 3. Then the Lord thy God will turn thy captain and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations where the Lord have scattered thee. And this is what else he's going to do. And the, I'm going to jump down to verse 6, man. All right. Jump, jump, jump down to verse 5. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thy heart and, and the heart of thy seed, and the love of the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, that they may live, man. There you have it, man. Okay? That's what's coming, man. For us, man. Okay? Let's go to the book of Jeremiah, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 15, man. All right? Jeremiah 16 and 15, man. All right? But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. What's the land of the north? It's talking about here in America, man. And from all the lands where he has driven them, and I will bring them again to their own land, and I gave them to their fathers. Our homeland is Israel, man. We're going to get that back, man. With interest, man. Because all the world will be ours, man. Okay? And other galaxies as well, man. Okay? Yeah. We about to have that. All right? Let's continue on, man. Let's go to Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel chapter 39. Ezekiel chapter 39. Verses 27 to 29. When I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemies' land, 
and sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. Then shall they know that I am the Lord their God, Yahweh, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I hide my face any more from them. For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, said the Lord God. There you have it, man. Yahweh will see how shot, man. He got us, man. Okay? But how is he going to deliver us, man? With these chariots, man. And I'm going to stay in the book of Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel 1 and 4, man. We're going to be delivered by the chariots, man. Or as the world eagerly called UFOs, man. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, a fire had folded in on itself, brightness, was about it, and out of the midst there of uh, color of amber and the midst of fire. That's how we're going to get delivered out of here, man. All right, we came here in slave ships. we going up out of here styling and profiling, man. Let's go to the wisdom of Solomon, man. Okay? This is the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 2, man. All right? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 2, man. All right? All right. It's like the wrong, wrong, uh, went a little bit past. A little bit past. Go back. Where's the Solomon? Chapter 5, verse 2. Yeah, man. We going about his style and profile, man. Here we go. This is what I want right here. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. And shall be amazed at the strangers of his salvation. So far beyond all they look for, man. There you have it, man. Okay? Yeah, man. And that's those chariots of your house to the out of town, man. Okay? Alright? Let's continue on, man. Let's go to 1 Corinthians, man. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, man. Verse, uh... 51, verse 51 to 54, okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 to 54, all right? Behold, I show you a mystery. Ye shall not all sleep. But she'll be changed. That's the everlasting life, man. Okay. In a moment, in the twinkle of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall be sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and ye shall be changed. For this corruptible must be put on incorruption, and this mortal must be put on immortality. We're never going to die, man. While Esau out here doing all this biohacking, okay, Looking to live forever, we're going to live forever, Esau. Okay? So when this corruptible shall be put on incorruption, and this mortal shall be put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death to swallow up, man. There you have it, man. Death to swallow up, man. Okay? That's what's coming for us, man. Fear nothing, man. Fear nothing, man. All praises to Yahweh, but still, Yahweh Shah! Fear nothing, man. Fear nothing, okay? Let's continue on, man. All right? That's the spirit of being, man. That's the spirit, man. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians, man. This is 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse uh, 15 to 17, man. All right? For this we must say unto you, the word of Salah. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that ye which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Yahweh shall, shall rise first. And then 
we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together in them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And, and so shall we ever be with the Lord, man. So what does that mean, man? Well, once again, man, like I said, man, the news, they're talking about UFO. Those are the chariots of Israel, man. We get caught up in the air, man. Yeah, man. The government been knowing about this here since the 40s, man. Since the 40s. They're getting ready to drop a whole series on nothing but the chariots, man. Because everybody got camel phones there, man. They can't hide this no more. So with that being said, man, I hope this lesson was edifying. But until next time, all praises to Yahweh, Bo Shem, Yahweh Shah, Wakaka Shalom, family.